Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my guide and review of a really superb device from QNAP. This is their TurboNAS TVS871. Now this is an 8-bay network attached storage device that offers up so much more than just simply storing your files. Now as you can see from the front display of the device, we have got 8 bays and these accept either 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch SATA drives. You can lock them down and they're also very easy to actually remove from the chassis of the TVS871 and then once you've installed your drive, you simply put the drive caddy back in and clip it back into place. Now I'm going to show you later on how this has been set up and show you it in action, give you a guide around some of the interface as well, so please do stay tuned for that. Now just to continue a look at the front of the device, we have got a main power button. We've also got a USB uh, port here where we can put in something like a flash drive, push the copy button and it'll copy the data across from the flash drive to the internal drive storage inside. We've also got some status LEDs here. And once the drive's powered up, we also get a display here which gives us some good feedback about what the device is actually doing. We've also got an enter and select button which will allow us to navigate through the menu system. Now, the TVS871 has various different models and they range from a dual core Intel model, an i3 model, an i5 model and a core i7 model. The one we've got here is a Core i3. It's running at 3.5 gigahertz and it has four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM installed as well. Now moving round to the back of the device and you can see we have got quite a few fans, three in total. A small one at the top here and then two larger fans. And these are here simply to aid in the cooling of both the internal power supply and the other components and also the hard drives that you install. We've also got a Kensington lock slot here, so we can tether this to a desk if we want to. We've got the input for the power cable, a couple of expansion slots, and a total of four Ethernet sockets as well. Now this supports up to 10 gigabit Ethernet, which gives you a data throughput of over 2,300 megabytes per second. That is a fantastic performance. We've got a couple of USB slots here, USB 3, and then a couple of standard USB 2 slots. And then down the bottom corner here, we've also got an HDMI output. Now you can connect via HDMI with video transcoding and output to a 1080p or even a 4K display. Now in use, I mentioned earlier that this is more than just a NAS device. Now when I think of network attached storage in its simplest form, it's to store data in a central location so you can then access this across multiple computers, be that desktop or laptop computers. Well, this takes things so many steps further. You can use this as a file server, an FTP server, a backup server. It's got a VPN service, web server, MySQL server. The list goes on and on. And behind all of this is the QTS operating system, which offers up an intelligent desktop environment to monitor system information, set up the NAS the way you want it, and so much more. You can even install apps to extend the functionality and the range in the App Center is very impressive. It includes the likes of Azure, Chrome, Dropbox and Joomla to name just a few. QSearch allows you to find your documents, photos, videos and music quickly on your computer and mobile devices. You can even connect a keyboard, mouse and monitor to the TVS871 and you can use this as a PC thanks to its QVPC technology. Virtualization station supports multiple operating system and to top things off you can even connect IP cameras to record to the internal hard drives and surveillance station allows you to monitor all of these cameras individually. This is a really high specification NAS device. The QNAP TVS871 has been a pleasure to use and I'm going to continue using this for my backup strategy for the videos that I produce for the Geekanoids channel. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do hit that like button. Please do check out the links in the video description to all of my social networks and also, of course, to the QNAP website where you can check out their whole range of NAS devices. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all again in another video on the Geek and Noise channel very soon.